You have to give a lot of credit in the way that the Netherlands played. They, I think they were robbed in a way because the referee gave a penalty kick, then overturned it through VAR, which Nico, Nico and Jenny, we all watched this game together. We were, we were arguing that this should be a red card because the defender didn't make an attempt to play the ball. It was the last man. And not only did she re take, take it away, now she the game is the even penalty, and, and rescinded the penalty, which, which is crazy to me because yeah. there's yeah. clear and obvious evidence that the defender made contact with Berenstein behind. So the contact's there. The foul is given. How can you say with, with clarity, 100% clarity, that it's clear and evident that this is a foul, uh, an error, an error. error in judgment by the referee? How? It's impossible. It is, it, it is absolutely impossible to overturn that call because it's a clear breakaway. There's a, a couple of defensive mistakes in that, in that instance. But when the foul's given, hmm. she pushes her from behind. from behind. It's a foul. She's not How even can playing you the ball. say that there's no foul? But the referee does go to the monitor and has yeah, a look herself. Which is, which is the cra that's the craziest But I think part. The, the, the reason why she was brought to the monitor, I think, was to give a red card and, and not a yellow card. And instead, she overturned the, the call penalty. on the pitch. So oh. it took her a while to blow the whistle, too. So there was yeah. a moment when I don't think that she thought that that was it, and then someone must have told her May, to check. Maybe the lines woman, the, the AR. Because the yeah. VAR can't in, go right. mm. into her ear. So the AR said, hey, no, that's a foul. And she was in pushed. unison, we were all penalty, penalty possible red, red card. card. Um, you know who else deserves a lot of credit for, for the, in this Spain-Netherlands matchup? Jenny Chu. Because yesterday, she said that Paraguelo could be the game changer to beat the Netherlands. <laughs> Jenny Hermoso with a nice play, and Jenny Chu with the Hermoso take wow. right to Paraguelo, and Paraguelo uh, sentenced I did Sweden. say that. I Give did her credit. I didn't say, Young I didn't, sub. I, I never said you didn't say that. No, I, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot to give myself remember credit. Remember when you told me you, she didn't say it? No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> but to come in as a sub and to be that influential, score the winning goal, I mean, that's got to be huge. A huge bump for her career. Young, influential, obviously plays incredibly well at Barcelona. This is a big moment. World Cup game winning goal. And, Huge. And we knew the Netherlands, given that both these teams are capable of keeping the ball for long periods of time. Possession, good, good technical ability. But the Netherlands conceded possession to, to, to Spain. Yeah. But they committed 22 fouls oh. to seven, which means we're just going to break it up. We're not going to give you the time and space to just. To just Dwell on the ball and pick your head up and pick and choose. We're going to disrupt you. And, and they did it, and they did a fantastic job. And, of yes. course, Spain weren't clinical in those moments they need to, especially in the early first half. Early in the match. I mean, yeah. early, in the first 20 minutes, Spain should have capitalized on something. There was three, four chances that they mm -hmm. absolutely should have put away, and they didn't. And then I thought Netherlands is going to take this because of that. And then Paraguelos comes but and changes the game. Netherlands almost in that final third throughout the game had numerical superiority. It was Jenny Hermoso trying to combine with a 1-2, and she didn't have that many teammates surrounding her. Netherlands did a great job of getting women behind the ball and around Spanish opposition. And it was organized, and we almost felt like they were gonna get, it, that they were getting robbed because of that no penalty um, call. And then they end up getting the equalizer towards the 90th minute, and it was like, okay, justice this is fair. sort of prevailed, right? Lie. <laughs> yeah, ball don't lie. They still have to play 11 on 11, though, because we felt like that should have been a sending off, and crazy enough, it, 